Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It is Friday. It is Friday, my friends. It is Friday for you out there watching at home. But I'm going to pull back the showbiz curtain and let you on a little secret. I'm taping this on Thursday night. And let me tell you, Thursday is a great place to be right now. Yeah. Feels good. Thursday got a good energy. Feels good. Energy, right? Because I have no idea what happened in the Senate impeachment trial tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe Mitch McConnell successfully killed the vote to call the witnesses. Maybe Mitch McConnell successfully killed the witnesses. I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm back here on Thursday, and the water's fine. And let me tell you, so's the bourbon. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh. Friday me is going to have to deal with some of the bad choices made by Thursday daddy. <laughs> mm. That's fly, dog. Don't go or far with that. <laughs> Don't go far with that. That city. Now, while I'm here in the blissful before times, you're out there all living in the impeachment afterscape. And for that, I salute you. Because you're standing tall or lying in bed eating handfuls of pasta off your chest. <laughs> Whatever you need to do, I am with you. Other than the fact that I am not with you. <laughs> now, there's a glimmer of hope for you Friday people in the form of Brexit. Because the UK formally left the EU today. Not the best news for Britain, but it does mean there's an opening in the EU. Take us! We can be European! <laughs> I promise, Will, we can do it. Yeah. I can give it a shot. How hard could it be? Uh, we'll give wine to our kids and learn how to use those toilets with a weird shelf in it. We'll... <laughs> I'll kiss on both cheeks. I'll wear nut hugger jeans. <laughs> These days, most jeans are nut hugger for me. <laughs> While the White House is consumed by the fallout from Trump's Ukraine scheme, Trump has still found time for other stupid ideas because he recently revealed the official logo for Space Force, <laughs> which bears a strong resemblance to the Starfleet logo from Star Trek. <laughs> It's like Space Force saw the Starfleet logo and said, Make it suck. <laughs> Space Force, how dare you recycle a beloved Star Trek property for your own purposes? Which reminds me, watch Star Trek Picard only <laughs> on CBS All Access. <laughs> CBS All Access. Enjoy the go. But the logo wasn't Space Force's only big launch. Just a few weeks ago, they unveiled their state-of-the-art new space uniforms. Prepare your Earthling minds for... Space Camo! You know the old saying, in space, no one can hear you scream, but we can all see you coming because camo doesn't work up there. <laughs> Again, let me just reiterate what our situation is right now. You know, right now, if Trump was acquitted. I don't. But I do know this. Yesterday, big chunks of his border wall fell over and landed on the Mexican side. Oh, that's going to be an awkward phone call for Trump. <laughs> hey, neighbor. Yeah, hey, yeah, it's Don. Look, remember when I called you murderers and drug dealers and rapists? Yeah, good times. Any hooski. <laughs> Can I have my wall back? <laughs> Hello? Hello? It's just a finger? Okay. <laughs> Officials say the wall fell because the concrete and the foundation had not yet cured, so the panels were unable to withstand the windy conditions. Yes. How could anyone have predicted that there would be wind in a desert? <laughs> I forget whose idea was this whole project? I never understood wind. Yes. <laughs> and it's not the first battle Trump has lost to wind. <laughs> The, his nemesis. <laughs> what else is coming up? Mundo, Iowa, the Iowa caucuses are on Monday. And it's hard to predict what makes the difference for any particular candidate any particular year. Things can get weird in the caucus. As one caucus goer explained to NPR yesterday morning on that morning's Morning Edition. In the past, this has been decided by cookies. I'm not kidding you. We've had campaigns win people over by bringing in 
a dozen cookies and give them away and say, come over to our camp and have some cookies. Now, I was a little skeptical about that story. Luckily, we have a typical Iowa voter on the line right now. Sir, what are you looking for in a candidate? Cookie! Um, nom, 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 oh, nom, 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 nom. Okay. Ah. okay, okay. That's, uh, that's good enough for me. I'll catch you up on everything happening in the rest of the Democratic race in tonight's... You, off the board, I'll come up and drag you off. A progressive agenda. Frankly, they're crazy. Fury Road to the White House 2020. Now... There is one contender not even running in Iowa, former New York City mayor and melancholy dad in a Wes Anderson movie, <laughs> Mike Bloomberg. This week, uh, Mayor Bloomberg met with voters in Burlington, Vermont, and shook a dog's face. <laughs> no! Bad billionaire, bad. <laughs> down, Mike, down. <laughs> Though it, the dog actually seemed to like it. So now Bloomberg does the same thing with all the babies he meets. Now, one guy who is running in Iowa is former vice president and man overly impressed by swirl technology, <laughs> Joe Biden. Uh, vice President Biden was campaigning Tuesday in Clinton, Iowa, as CBS's Ed O'Keefe reports. One other candidate well, uh, Joe Biden's going to have to worry about is well, not competing here in Iowa. Former New York uh, Mayor Michael Bloomberg is now placing fourth in national polls. <laughs> A little more than a month before he first appeared on ballots on Super Tuesday. Nora? Uh, it looks like Joe Biden is about to uh, approach you there. All right. <laughs> Ed, that's what happens when you're live on the campaign trail. All right. Welcome to the campaign trail, Nora. <laughs> All right, Ed. What a moment. Good for Joe. Good for you, sir. It's his rally for Pete's sake, and Ed was talking pretty loud. Nora, I'm at the Biden rally, mere feet, inches really, from the old man behind me. The crowd desperately trying to discern what on earth he's saying over the sound of my booming voice. I've got nothing more to say. Let me just add, I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never going to keep me down. I get knocked down, Nora. There's also big news from the campaign trail of Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren, seen here reacting to a question about banking regulation. <laughs> Warren is required to be in D.C. during the Senate impeachment trial, which is tough, because the Iowa caucus is on Monday. So instead, Warren's dog is campaigning for her while she's stuck in Washington. Oh, come on, really, a dog? That's just blatantly emotional manipulation to... Oh, my God! <laughs> He's so cute! Who wants a progressive wealth tax? You do! Yes, you do! <laughs> That's Warren's golden retriever, of course, Bailey. And rest assured, if you drop a piece of food on the ground, he's got a plan for that. <laughs> Still, it would have been more fun if Warren had stayed on the campaign trail and let Bailey go to the impeachment trial. <laughs> the, um... We have another question from the gallery. The senator from Massachusetts asks, am I a good boy? Am I really a good boy? I'm sorry, this question is actually from Lindsey Graham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bailey's not traveling alone. He's being chaperoned by Warren's husband, Bruce Mann, who really sounds like he was named by Bailey. This is my owner, Bruce Man. <laughs> he has food hand like Mom Liz woman. I love him, and I love you. Salt! <laughs> Salt. Squirrel. <laughs> Here's Bruce Mann taking Bailey off the campaign bus and into an event in Iowa. Wow, a long bus ride, and Bailey didn't even stop to pee. Which is more than I can say for some of the Democratic candidates. Okay, before we head in, I'm gonna go over there and redistribute my coffee into that bush. <laughs> now, now, in Iowa, thank you. thank you. Thank you for applauding my bladder. Uh, down in Iowa, campaign organizers have made some adjustments for Bailey. At one stop, there were Warren signs hanging knee high on the walls. 
a height strategically placed for selfies taken squatting next to Bailey, along with four folding chairs and a few old antique lamps. That is my first thought whenever I hear a big dog is coming over. Let's get out the antique lamps. Come on. <laughs> now you start a jigsaw puzzle on the floor, and I'll go get the Fabergé eggs. <laughs> but since Bailey's new to the campaign trail, I just want to give him one piece of advice. Stay away from Mike Bloomberg. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight, everybody. Edie Falco is here.